Hi right, guys, it's Barry Glasgow here once again. Welcome back to my channel. And Georgia has its winner in the special election. And it's the Republican. And the Democrat went down in fucking flames. This is funny. Um, <laughs> Os Ossoff is his name. And the Republican who won is Hoss Hostler, I believe. Anyway, what's funny is... This now makes four straight special election elections the Republicans have won. And I don't know what the hell the Democrats were hoping for. They're trying to claim this as the end all be all special election. That their guy was going to win. They poured a shit ton of money into it. They outspent the Republican candidate by I believe the final figures are like six or seven to one. And he still lost. Several things to learn from this. A reason why he lost. He was he was not the candidate to run. And the Democrats cannot get the fuck out of their own way. Okay. He got more support. Financial support. From California. From the big wigs in Hollywood. All the big rich actors. Uh, I believe Samuel Jackson was one. Um, a lot of big super, superstars were donating money to him. Like... Over, I believe, almost 90%, 80 to 90% of his funding came from California and people who backed Pelosi. Well, you can't have that in a local run. Okay, this may be a small area of Georgia. People aren't fucking stupid. Okay, and they kept it hidden for a while. And then, like, in the last week or two, it finally came out. And then, it, okay, now people were pissed. That was one. Number two, he didn't even fucking live there. Okay. How can you, how, I mean, I don't know about George Laws, but I know my, you can't run for that if you don't live in the damn area you're running for. Um, so yeah, he, he didn't even really live there until a little bit before he decided to run. So he doesn't know the area, wants to run against a possibly semi-established candidate. Who's running for a seat that was already held by a Republican who was vacated because he's got called up by President Trump. So you're trying to hope to run into a, and the seat has been held since, well, I believe, what, 1979 by a Republican. So your ass is going to bet on a special election race that your guy couldn't even, it's actually not 4-0, it's 5-0. Because this guy couldn't even win um, the election to make it so they didn't have to do this runoff. So he couldn't even break that point. Um, he couldn't get the percentage he needed. Now, granted, he did have some good goings there, but we can't believe the polls either. Um, and the Republican candidate was flawed too, but I'll get to her in a minute. So you have a guy that can't raise hardly anything in Georgia, but he can get shit from Hollywood. Okay, that's a flag. The guy doesn't fucking live there, but he wants to represent you. That's another flag. Next in was this guy, what the fuck was he? He, he, he? he didn't have a real job. Let's just put it that way. Um, so basically trying to get a, in, a white Barack Obama in there. And okay, we had eight years of that. Yeah, you ain't gonna get too many Republicans in there vote for that. So, once all that peeled away, that's what hit him. She spent more wisely. Now, Trump would only come in if he was asked to do so. And he really wasn't. But when he was asked, he came in. He basically, you know, he did do some tweets. He did some, they did the auto calls that President Trump needed. The Democrats just can't fucking figure this shit out for some reason. They don't know why they're doing so stupidly. I'm telling you, it's your fucking... You're just stupid, okay? You had... Hillary Clinton spend god-awful amounts of money. Here comes Trump on basically a shoestring budget. Whips the shit out of her. Electorally. Here's almost an exact same prime example. Here comes the Republican candidate. Semi-flawed. Doesn't raise, doesn't raise a whole lot of money. Democrat... Outspends or has the fuck money. Outspends or does a shit ton more commercials. Still loses. Democrats have forgotten its substance. Okay. This lady was a semi-flawed candidate. Let, we're going to examine it just like it would have been Trump versus uh, is Clinton. Here's the, the, the Republican candidate. Semi-flawed. Doesn't hit everything like she should. She actually you know, tries to be a bit standoffish and, and whatever. And doesn't hit the home thing. Trying to always mind the ball. I'm from this area. Well that's good. But you also got to come up with some extra stuff. And she came up with some good stuff. 
where this guy, the Democrat, kept everything a secret, for the most part. And then if I came out, he would avoid these questions. You can't do that. He should be honest. Okay, I'm not going to get a lot of funding here, cause, but I, I may not be around here, but I want to represent you. So, Democrats just haven't learned. So, basically five straight elections they've lost. Really four, but we'll go, a lot of people are counting the five for the runoff. So, and the Democrats are zipped for it. And so is the mainstream media. Zero. Zip. I'm predicting this. So, Trump is still going good. This should be, this should be a wake-up call. Okay, quit fucking fighting Trump and just get on and board with him. If you want to somebody get your opinion, just go in and fucking talk to the man. He's always open, he said. He's, he's changed his mind on some things since the election. Why? Because we've come and talked to him and helped him change his mind. So that's all you gotta do. Get your fucking asses in there, uh, Pelosi and Schumer. Quit fucking being dumb motherfuckers and go in there and work with him. Because let me tell you, <clears throat> and that goes for the Republicans too. Get off the establishment ones. You get your gases in gear and get the taxes done. Don't don't give us the lies about oh we need to get the budget together first before we tax us. No, you do the taxes first, then you know what budget you got to work with and you make it fall in there. It can be a bit of pain in the ass, at least you know, got to know where you're at. And here's why: if you do not drop these taxes, I mean tax the cost for us, you know, the citizens, and then of course businesses as well. I'm a fucking realist. Like I said, I'm independent. I know about business and stuff like that. If you don't do it soon, another country's going to come along, drop their tax rate, and take our thunder. And not going to be on Trump. Not going to be on the Republicans that back them. It's going to be the Republicans that fucking drag their feet and the Democrats that drag their feet. See, if, the, if they got on board with doing this tax um, drop, this new tax plan... Republicans can walk into 2018 in an election simple. Because the Democrats are all going to have, well, I was against him. I was against him. I was against the... You're against the tax cuts. You voted no. Good luck on that one. Hell, how the fuck are they going to defend that come 2018? You could... Trump could probably handpick his fucking candidate, run in there and fucking get a Democratic seat. Because right now the UK... Uh, um, May is looking at dropping their uh, corporate tax uh, rate again. So yeah, get your get the love of the asses, Republicans. Pass that fucking tax plan. And let's get going. Again, congratulations. Down in Georgia, Democrats still haven't learned their fucking lesson. What do you guys think? As always, you guys take care, and I will see you all next time.